Okay guys, so I'm trying to jumpstart this Toyota Prius and I got the Noco Boost Pro GB150 jump box on here and it keeps having the little red exclamation light come up which means that I've got it hooked up backwards. But I know that I don't because I've got my positive over here. This little thing's supposed to pivot off of here but I've got my positive right here in the fuse panel where it's supposed to be. This little thing pivots up and then the bare metal under here, this bolt and this piece is what you hook your, your positive to. So I've hooked it there and then I've hooked my negative to the bare metal of the engine block. So any bare metal should do and it's saying that we have it hooked up backwards. So I'm going to try to use the GB70 box and see if that works better. Sometimes I have issues with Porsches trying to open the hood and I can't use that GB150 box, but I can use the GB70. So I'm thinking maybe I might have the same situation here. I don't know why that happens, but it does sometimes happen. So now I've hooked the GB70 up and we're having no issues with it saying that I have reverse polarity. So I just hooked the red here and the negative to the uh, strut tower bolt up there. And we'll see if we can start it like that. Okay, go ahead and try that. Try to jump in and start it and see if that'll work. Toyota Prius jump start. Just push the power yeah, just like normal. Yeah. Yeah, just start it up. You pushed it and it won't start? Okay, one second. See if the trunk will pop. See if the trunk will, will pop now. Okay, okay. No. <clears throat> okay. Okay, try to start it. No? Okay, one second. Alright, so I don't think I'm getting enough power from this, so I'm gonna hook my red cable from the GB150 to the 70 cable, and then I'm gonna run my negative over here to the engine once again. And you can see on the box, now we have power. Sometimes if you don't have enough power on one of these hybrid cars, uh, one box won't give it enough power to go, so you have to go with two. And I've had these problems with Porsche and with hybrids, so. Turn this box on and double boost it, and then we should have enough power to start it. Okay, go ahead and try that. What's that? I'm also pushing my foot down on the accelerator. Oh, on the brake. You want to put it on the brake? I mean the brake. Yeah, Not and it won't. Nothing will start. Huh. Oh. Okay, let's try it now. There we go. She's alive. Just a really dead battery. So Sometimes it just takes a double jump on these things because they're so dead. And like I said, when the voltage is so low, it'll read reverse polarity on this box. So sometimes I have to use the GB70 to give it just enough power so this box knows that it's not hooked up backwards and there is no reverse polarity. And then this box joins in with the voltage and helps the vehicle start up. So 
again just grounded here to the engine block right there top of the head just clamp it on like that i'll go ahead and turn this box off and disconnect it you can hear the car shut off but that is just the gas engine the hybrid should still be running so we'll remove this and then I'll jump in and hit the gas pedal and see if we are still running. Gotta take All right, let's jump back in. And we don't hear it running, so we're afraid that it shut back off, right? Oh my God. Hit the gas pedal. You can hear the gas engine come back on. And what you wanna do is you wanna drive this car around and slowly break so it'll charge back up but you also want to get your battery replaced so not the hybrid battery but I don't know how to open this thing okay so the video cut off on the last one because my phone died but the very next customer was a Toyota Prius also a little bit different year might be the same year as yours who knows but uh what year is this one this one's a 2013. I don't remember what that last one was, but I'll put it in the video when I'm doing the editing. Um, on the 2013, you got the little fuse panel just like the other one. Push it in right here, like so, and then lift up and that little fuse panel comes off. And then under that fuse panel, you have this little red tab here with the plus sign on it. Just push the little black tab over and lift the red tab up. So there's a little black tab right here you got to push that over and then lift it up and that metal right there that shiny chrome metal that's your positive connection for your your battery and that's where you want to put your red cable at so toyota doesn't really give you a negative ground to go to around here you can go up here to the strut tower bolt which is right there and that's often what i will go to but also go to the engine head just like on the last one so turn this box off and hook up our red cable first and then our black there we go red cable hooked on there bring the black cable over hook it to the engine head right here and you can see we've got 4.5 volts we'll go ahead and turn the box on and this one's not saying that it's hooked up backwards and you can hear and see the power just came on so should be a lot better than the last car okay you can try to start it should start up okay there we go, it's running. Gas engine should come on, there it goes. All right. Then we just turn our box off and disconnect our cables. And if you wanted to jump start this or had to jump start this with jumper cables instead of a jump box, it'd be the same procedure. Uh, no different. Um, you can jump start uh, from another vehicle to this vehicle i would not recommend jump starting someone else's vehicle from your toyota prius it's just not worth the risk um, if you have to like if it's a dire emergency sure but other than that i would i would just tell someone to call roadside assistance through their insurance company but there you have it that's how to jump start your prius all right guys so if you're wondering where your gasoline battery is on this prius on this particular model it is in the back lift up that floorboard and then down here you'll see your little battery that's the positive and then over here is the negative you could take this piece of plastic up and change it out yourself uh it's not difficult to do or you could take it to someone to have replaced it's like 250 to 300 something dollars and like i said that's not the gas i mean not the hybrid battery so not expensive like the hybrid one is and they typically last about two to three years in florida now each state does vary 
All right, guys, there's another video on how to jumpstart your Toyota Prius. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop me a comment, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.